الله یار جان مگیم آغایت فقیر است بیا بریم بدوم بالی رفیقت نگار جان Hello and greeting from the far end village of Austria So today the mission is to show you the hotel where I'm live where I'm staying in at the moment and before I go to this hotel show you guys the hotel I would like to go for a swimming So today the weather is a little bit better I wouldn't say nice but better than uh, a couple of weeks ago So yeah So today let me go on I do some swimming and then I will show you guys the hotel where I'm staying in at the moment so let's go and see okay guys let me tell you one thing about this country about Austria so yeah Austria is one of those famous countries producing a lot of mechanical engineering heavy machineries stuff like that as you can see behind me so one of those things that Austria is very famous for as far in the season mechanic stuff going on as you can see or scrap yards probably around here see how was as you can see look at that look at them cars and that been smashed up to pieces uh -huh. a shrine jesus shrine going on here a jesus shrine going on too side of the mechanics just to pray for them that they do they don't have an accident again so that's how it is yeah i came to one of those random villages in austria so this is a uh, a self-serving shop on the street on the side of the streets i believe it is as you can see that's the name of it and in here where you can buy some eggs and everything as you can see is this must man selber kaufen gibt's niemand here oder aha okay no no aha okay okay and this lady just told me she just trusts her customers and that so whatever whoever comes and buys stuff she just put the money in and uh, what is this that you, inside that bottle uh milk aha uh -huh, is this a milk aha uh -huh. okay okay do you do you do you accept a, a banco banco mata huh? oh sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> no cash <laughs> only cash is it yeah oh. no cash. <laughs> uh -huh. okay okay thanking you and the villages and that people just come in and if you want to buy some stuff you just have to basically that the woman just trust people you see just leaving the stuffs around here and uh, the shop as, as it is the fridge is basically open it's got some uh, let me tell you it's got some bio eggs in there and milk i have some sort of a cheese which i don't really know what it is some nuts going on uh-huh almonds and there's some uh jam going on as you can see wow self-serving shop everything is left open and there is the only uh -huh. now this is locked aha uh -huh. there's some small monies even in there as you can see and this is the calculator so yeah and that's how it goes around here i didn't even know that such things could be exist in austria i tell you one thing austria is one of the safest countries in the world if you're traveling days nights nobody's even asking you where you're going or what are you doing apart from i'm filming around they're a little bit curious looking at me from through the windows and that what am i doing but it is what it is so as the lady said self-serving shops she just trusts her customers in here as people come in and do what they want to do and leave it so the price and everything left over there mm, surprise huh okay let's go and find this leg now okay apparently there's a leg over there but it's a private lake so you're not allowed to go swim in there so as you can see the doors and everything's it's not locked but you can go it's still inside but i'm wondering if i go inside this lake what will happen i tell you what first things first it's illegal to walk swim in this water the second thing is you can't really find any places that you can jump in the water it's all been it's all been fenced up with this sort of grasses and that so it's really hard to jump in and the second thing is the water doesn't really look that good that nice to jump inside of that so how can you swim i have no idea but do you know what as i said austria has abundance of lakes so i might go and look for somewhere else a better place where i can swim although here is a very nice and quiet but i just don't like the water to be honest with you assalamu alaikum man <laughs> Hello, Stella. 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 Hello,
کی میکنی؟ ویچا کار میکنی آلی؟ خو خو پیش دلیم میکنی؟ یک پیتزا. ویچا پیتزا؟ آه این باعث نیت گناه ولی خب کدام پیتزا خوب آقا بگرم؟ پیتزا. ولی پیتزا. آلی اشرای بنیه. OK سایکس تو میه بیته. بیتیشان. آها. تماط و کسی اورگانا ورشوتو. آقا تو میخوری پیتزا؟ اگه میخوری بیشتر کنم برید تعریف نباشه با قرآن نه جگر گوشه ماستی جور کو برای مگدن پیتزا خو تو برای ما جور تک پیتزا this is the pizza as you can see I've just ordered a pizza a vegetable pizza so let's put it to the test see what it tastes like let me get the pizza with the with the fork too These guys and they never ask me if I need the water or nothing, so I have to get up by myself, or get the water for myself or something. Let's see. Not too bad. I'm gonna go with this water, the sprinkle water maybe. And that's the pizza from this uh, uni pizza kebab house that I had. Wow, a oh, beautiful pizza. Costed only 10 euros, so normally it's quite. Buying foods in Austria quite expensive for that pizza was quite cheap I think so now it's time to go for swimming so I've just finally arrived to this lake now just to put the water to the test see what is it like basically as you can see looks a very nice and crystal clean the swimming session coming to the end from this beautiful river so it's time to go home and show you that hotel to see what that hotel looks like and yeah and that's it from this beautiful lake site and, uh, and this is as that basically so let's go and see okay guys I have just arrived to the hotel so let me give you guys a tour of the hotel where I'm staying in so this is the hotel, uh, Pension Hugel. It's a massive hotel. I should say a massive pension or bed and breakfast. And there's some cars. As you can see, there's a lot of cars around here. The vast majority of these cars are coming from uh, Eastern European countries. The majority of these people are laborers basically, doing some sort of jobs that Austrians are not doing. So they're doing, they come to stay in this hotel. So let's go on this look at this hotel to see what does it look like basically. Let me open the door. Mm -hmm. Receptions, I should say. I think that's the reception, maybe. This way you can sit down and eat some food and that. Some menus where you can read. Let's go in and have a look at it. See what does it look like? Hey, here we go. Okay, first thing is first, let me lock it just in case. You never know with the safety these days, huh? So first thing is first, the price. Obviously it's uh, during the peak of the season, it's costing about 45 euros uh, uh, per person. But on, uh, yeah with that's with the breakfast and everything but there's a lot of stuff that you shouldn't you don't need to know about it but let's start with the toilet first and this is the toilet and this is how it looks basically the bathroom pretty nice and clean you got the hair dryer which is working very well i got my machine my clipper which i need to sh cut my beard shave my beard and everything toothpaste the toilet and this is the shower basically the one thing is about this shower is that you have to you have to like run it for three to four minutes in order for the warm water to come in before uh, you can have a shower in here by the time you're having a shower you start having a shower and this uh will be full of water because the drain is not draining the water properly and the good side of it if you like jumping up and down the water this is the best place to do it and if you don't like that 
so that's the bad side of it basically another side of it that i would like to point out is the ventilator as you can see this ventilator if you turn this ventilator on at night it's a nightmare basically there's another toilet over there and this guy sometimes goes to the toilet late in the evening or something i mean late in the night i should say and he's leaving his ventilator on and i can hear it at night it just goes on and on and on and it's just hard to sleep not just that the worst case of this place i should say is this because the boiler is very old in this place and because the boiler is very old and it makes a noise when it's pumping the water through some of these rooms and that when people have a shower at late night in three o'clock or something like that and you can be waking it up by people the boiler is uh, pumping water into the uh, pipes or something like that basically and this is the rooms where i'm staying in basically as you can see it's got my bike pump my flutes i got it in here so this is the double bed which is not a very bad bed i would i should say you can test it out so that's my laptop that's the telephones in there i don't even know whether it's working or not but let's nonetheless we can check it out it's beeping but as you can i don't know i don't know whether you guys can hear it or not it is beeping but but i don't think it is working to be honest with you but nonetheless that's the tv set that's the telephones that's the double beds and this is the tv sets as you can see my hand is not the biggest hand in the world but this is the tv sets i don't know whether anybody would be using it i never used it a picture something nice to wake up and look at it but one more thing about say if you look on the internet before you booking this hotel it says they have a wi-fi but phew, my god the wi-fi is, 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 is a disaster i should say it just doesn't really open up anything so it's better not to have it rather than a wi-fi so okay the living rooms or the sitting rooms whatever you call it let me show you this part of it just look at this wow i know i left the room a little bit a mess but he just gonna rent a hotel like that can you see yes look at that bought a picture the day i just left it here and look what happened to it whoa tell you what look at that trash over there it's full of ants let me show you the fridges in here this is the fridge basically there's not a lot of stuff inside of it but nonetheless it's a fridge but and this is the balcony basically as you can see this is the balcony and this is how it looks and this is the view outside of this place as you can see but the one positive things i can give you about this hotel is that the view is a beautiful view nonetheless if you're coming out from work or something a very tight you can chill with a bottle of beer over there and just enjoy the view so but the other positive things are what are negative things I should tell you because the sun is hitting directly inside the room and they do not have any fun inside the room or anything and if you like a heat bathing it turns into like a sauna so that's what is the good thing about this hotel so this is it guys i hope